Dear Sasha, I think that we all underestimate who we call the devil. We absorb this perception that the devil encompasses all that is considered darkness. Growing up, we visualize the devil as an unattractive being who is deformed. The images around us support how we expect the devil to appear. In reality, the devil looks just like us. The devil wears our skin, and blood flows through its veins. The devil can influence us. After all, it gets closer to us than God because it's drawn to our weaknesses. I feel that the devil isn't a being at all, it's an influence passed down from a generation. The objective is to support oneself at all costs, regardless of the consequences. This person doesn't care if your family, friends, their child, all that matters is the benefits they receive from you. Sasha, does this sound like a person you know? I think that's why I'm the way I am. I have no personality because I live for others, not myself. I did not get the opportunity to shape my identity even in the eight years I lived in Texas. It's a shame. You would think I'd have the guts to move on and be independent. But, instead, I'm still riding the same carousel expecting something different. 